Hello everyone, I'm Brian Maurer, your instructor for Enjoying Music. I'd like to welcome you all to week one. I'm very excited that you've chosen to take this course. And I've decided to put together a short video for you, highlighting some key things um, regarding, the, regarding this course. So um, hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, enjoy doing all the assignments. So let's dive on in. All right. So here I am, I've logged into the course on D2L. You can see on the news page here, you'll want to check this as much as possible. Uh, definitely, uh, every time you log in, you should at least peruse and see if there's any new news updates. Okay. We're going to click on content. And during the first week of classes, there's a lot of activity going on in D2L, so I encourage you to be patient. Sometimes the, the load times are, are increased because of the heavy traffic. There's a lot going on on uh, the site, so just be patient as things load. Okay, so my view will look a little different than yours, but uh, what you should be able to see here is you want to start with the course overview and read this over. It's a brief uh, welcome and invitation to the course. And also there's a description of what the topics we're going to cover throughout the semester. You can see there uh, I have the semester organized into what are called seminars. And each seminar is, you know, one to can be one to three weeks in length. Some have more topics and we cover more in depth. Okay. Uh, once you've looked at the course overview, you'll want to go to the Getting Started tab. And I do encourage you to read everything that I've typed. Uh, I try to keep it really short and sweet so that you just get the most important information that you need. Um, this is an online course, so it's a little bit more challenging if you've never taken an online course before. Um, you're kind of on your own. You really need to do your best to to stay, uh, to ask questions, to read the discussions and news, um, manage your time. That can be very difficult if, if this is your first online class. So I encourage you to, you know, um, talk with some of the other students that have taken on online classes before, and uh, you know, take some study tips from them. And I've provided some as well, just recommendations. You don't have to do all of them. We all learn different. Um, stay current, that means logging in at least three times a week, as well as uh, checking all news, all your email. You actually want to check that once per day. That's a requirement of the college, that you check your college email address one time every day, minimum. Um, but you should be checking that a lot more often. Uh, the professional world kind of revolves around email. So do get in the habit of checking that every day. You can even, if you have a smartphone, you can pipe it in through your smartphone and receive messages. If you th fall three weeks uh, behind, you will be dropped automatically from the course. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, and we do that because a big component of online learning is discussions. So you need to be doing the discussions if you're not doing discussion with your classmates, then you're not really participating in the online learning environment. So it's really important to participate in your discussions. Don't just get on, post your response, and then post your two comments and never uh, come back throughout the week. You'll want to explore the discussion, participate, and engage in the discussion as much as possible. Uh, the last thing here on tips for the online classroom. Understand your learning style. I've put some cool links for you to take uh, different questionnaire questionnaires so you can learn what kind of learner you are. Some people don't really find out till they've they're right at the end of their program that they're either a visual learner or they learn by uh, talking or learn by just more you know uh, working on their own. So do take, take some time and do these uh, inventories. They're really cool. The course is 16 weeks long. You need to spend approximately 48 hours each week 
to complete the requirements and I put this keyword in here successfully complete um, you can try to get by on less than that but you're not really going to benefit from the activities and all the things that I've designed for the course if you just do the minimum so uh, I understand we all have time constraints and we need to be reasonable with what we ask you in general education courses but do try to get online and uh, do everything uh, that's that's given to you spend adequate time reading and, and doing the participation side the discussions so on and so forth uh, the Facebook group page was a new element just a sidebar here I really enjoyed um, everybody's use of that there's been a lot of great comments um, getting to know the class uh, it's a, it's a lot more instantaneous than D2L can be. There's about a, there tends to be a two to three day delay on D2L. So um, I'm really pleased to see everybody commenting on the Facebook group page. And again, the social media, it is not required. It's just a perk for those that want to use it. But uh, man, it's a lot of fun and, and uh, a lot of people are using that uh, to their advantage. Okay, so let's continue to move through here. The next tab is about discussions. And um, I put a definition here to sort of encourage you <laughs> to change your mindset of what discussions are. I think it's kind of stale. Sometimes we approach discussions with this sort of staleness. Uh, but really it can, it can be exciting. This is the number one way you learn in an online course. It's the action of, or process of talking about something, typically in order to reach a decision or exchange ideas. That really, to me, is key, exchanging ideas. If you're not really exchanging anything, uh, you're not discussing anything. Uh, there's no change, there's no action taking place. So again, uh, discussion is an active thing not just uh, one way so keep it going keep the exchange going keep engaging each other by asking questions uh, and prompting new ideas introducing new things into the conversation um, each week you're expected to post the discussion forums and comment on your classmates post as noted on the weekly assignments the number of discussion items will vary each week and weekly postings must be posted in the correct forum by the end of the class week I have something in my course called Priority Deadlines. They are every week. Uh, they're due Friday by 11.59 p.m. Okay, what that means is you can earn up to the five full points that are available for discussions if you submit your uh, posts by before Friday at 11.59 p.m. I do that so there's ample time to respond on Saturday and Sunday for people to uh, answer questions or for the conversation to develop and become more complex. Uh, if you post on Saturday or Sunday, if you miss that priority deadline, you can only get three uh, points maximum for that week. So earning points in discussions is, is a really good way to solidify your grade for this course and also to maximize your learning op opportunities. So please make sure you meet those priority deadlines, okay? Uh, and encourage conversation, keep it going. How to write posts, I have a whole thing here for you. You can read on your own. And it just basically summarizes what I just said. Five points um, is the maximum. And you get that by meeting these criteria that I've described. So do read that. And I think I've, I included this. I think this is a good rule to go by as a general rule. Only post something that you think would be interesting to read that for yourself, okay? Uh, if, we, if we have this as a guideline, uh, a rule, I think our posts will be a lot better. The, the discussions will, will be a lot more positive and you'll, you'll get more out of them. Okay. Make sure you also you do more than just agree with people's comments if you read here closely. Um, I won't grade if you just write, I agree with you in one sentence. Um, there needs to be some more thought in order to earn those points, so do take time to formulate something that uh, shows that, I, that you're thinking about it. I need to see that you're thinking. If I can see that, uh, you know, in three to five sentences, 
then you're good to go. But avoid the one sentence response, I agree. Try to go a little bit deeper. Again, discussion is an exchange of ideas, okay?